Hey, and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to take an ISO file and convert it to a VMDK file. VMDK files are excellent if you want to virtualize an operating system. We're going to use VirtualBox to convert this file, and I'll show you how, and we'll get started right now. So I'm going to assume that you already have VirtualBox installed, and you can see it right over here. But if you don't have it installed, you can check out this video, and I'll walk you through the steps. The first thing that we want to do is make sure that we have the ISO, ISO file already downloaded. So I'm looking at this one right now, and this is the one that we're going to be converting. It's macOS Monterey, and it's in the ISO format. This is the path that it's downloaded in, which is my downloads folder. So that's an important note to make because we're going to be using this directory when we're converting the file. The first thing we're going to do is go to our command prompt, and we're going to right click on it and run as administrator. Say yes to the prompt. So the default path that we have here is the system32 folder, and we need to change that. So what we want to do is we want to go into the VirtualBox directory. To move over into the VirtualBox directory, we're just going to type in CD for change directory, and then you want to put in the path. The default path is the one I'm typing in right now, which is C program files slash Oracle slash VirtualBox. You might have something different, but if you did the default installation, this is going to be the path. Once you have it, you can hit enter and you can see we've switched over into the VirtualBox directory. To make things a little bit easier, because we're going to be using a lot of different paths right now, make sure you have a, a notepad open because what we're going to do is we're going to copy the path that we have here. We'll switch over into notepad and then we're going to paste it. And then we're going to put in a slash and then put in the name of the ISO file. So in my case, it's Mac OS Monterey ISO. So I'm just going to copy this and then I'm going to paste it in. And then on the next line, we're going to put the exact same thing, but we're going to end it with a proper extension, which is the extension that we're converting it with, which is VMDK. So I'm going to copy it and then I'm going to paste it. And now I'm going to put in a period and then VMDK. Back at the command prompt window, we're going to be typing in the command to convert the format, which is VBox manage space convert from raw. So then you type that in and now we can copy the ISO path. So right click on it and then we'll copy it and then we're going to paste it in here. Then you hit space. We got to make sure there's a space between the two paths. So space. And then what we can do is take the next foot line that we have here, which is for the VMDK file, copy it, go back to the command prompt and then paste it in. So once you have both of these lines in, you hit enter and it's going to start converting the file. Now, this conversion process for me took about five, six minutes. It really depends on your computer, but that's about an estimate of what you'll be looking for. This is about a 15 gig file. It will convert to a smaller file when it's done, but that's just an estimation depending on the file that you're using. So if the command that we're using right now will be in the description below. I'll also link to my blog so you can walk through the steps if the video is not as clear as the blog format. And it looks like it just completed, so we can switch over to the folder. And now you can see that we now have a converted VMDK file, and that's done. We can go ahead and use this inside VirtualBox or VMware, and you can go ahead and start virtualizing the operating system. So this is applicable to all ISO files. It doesn't really matter the operating system. The process is the same. This is using the VirtualBox manager tool that's already built into the application. It makes things a lot easier by running just a couple commands inside the command prompt. So that's how you do it. That's how you take an ISO file and convert it to a VMDK file. I hope you found this useful. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And for all things related to virtual machines, you can check out and subscribe to my dedicated channel called Geekcore Guides, where we set up and install a variety of operating systems in a virtual settings. So if you have any questions, you can go ahead and put them in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. Thank <laughs> you.